And the White House says it's getting geeked out this morning. President Obama is hosting the fourth annual White House Science Fair. This year, the spotlight is on girls and women excelling in science, technology, engineering, and math or STEM. The administration is recognizing 100 award-winning students from 30 states. And Nancy Cordes got the first look at some of their work. This is our motion sensor, and um, it detects rising water, and when it detects rising water, these two bridge pieces will raise up. <laughs> they call themselves the Lego Queens. This Girl Scout troop from Tulsa, Oklahoma, designed a prize-winning flood-proof bridge that earned them a trip to the White House. The girls say the idea came to them after they noticed how floodwaters wash out bridges, keeping first responders from reaching certain communities. MIT-bound teens Olivia Van Amsterdam and Caitlin Sweeney built this robot to help search and rescue divers stay safe in icy waters. What happens a lot is people will see a hole in the ice and call 911 whether or not they've seen someone fall through, and that puts a diver in a really dangerous situation. Let it go. 19-year-old Maria Haynes is a huge football fan. Her passion for the game and accidentally dropping her cell phone inspired the concussion cushion. She added a soft layer to the outside of hard helmets, testing her theory with foam and gel paddings. So the gel really absorbed the impact and dispersed it while the foam kind of absorbed it but sent it right back. Although this year the focus is on girls in science, plenty of boys got into the action too. Like Peyton Robertson, he designed these sandless sandbags using polymer and salt. They're also reusable after they dry out. Deidre Carrillo is a Texan who helps build and race electric cars. Battery management comes into this, a lot of strategy because it, it's batteries and it's, we want it to be efficient. It's that kind of thinking the White House hopes these science fairs will continue to foster for years to come. For CBS This Morning, Nancy Cordes, Washington. Some very cool stuff. Very so cool. So poised and so smart. And didn't we love their little crowns? Yes. <laughs> I love that. The Lego queens. Yes, I like it.